I'm gonna show you how to make the Chop Shop Rocket Project. It's a perfect starter project for getting the hang of using our patterns. If you haven't already, we recommend watching our general pattern instructions to learn what all the markings on the paper pattern mean. Okay, let's get to work. To start, you're going to need a chop saw, a hole punch, a scoring tool, double-sided tape or glue, scissors, and something to draw with. Step one, print and color your patterns. Step two, draw a pilot on the red circle on part E. Step three, cut out the shapes using a pair of scissors, being sure to leave some room around the edges. Step four, glue the shapes to your cardboard, being sure to use the space efficiently. Also, make sure the arrow on the flames, part B, align with the direction of the cardboard flutes. Step five, punch a hole in the rocket body, part A, where you see the green circle. Step six, cut out your shapes by following the solid black lines. Step seven, cut the internal hole in part A, the rocket body. Step eight, create the flames by using the scoring tool to remove the top surface in the yellow squiggly area. Step nine, score parts E and F on the blue and red dashed lines, making sure to score the back side for the blue lines. Step 10, fold along the lines like you see here. Step 11, apply double-sided tape or glue to the flames, part B. Step 12, attach the flames to the rocket body, part A. Step 13, apply double-sided tape or glue to the fins, part C and D. Step 14, attach the fins to the rocket body, part A. Step 15, apply double-sided tape or glue to the astronaut hub, part E. Step 16, attach the astronaut hub to the back of the rocket body, part A. Make sure the astronaut peeks out of the window. Step 17, apply double-sided tape or glue to the base, part F. Step 18, attach the base to the back of the ship. Step 19, apply double-sided tape or glue to the astronaut hub, part F. Step 20, attach the astronaut hub to the base, part F. <laughs> 